Hi everyone, this is Janet Taylor. Today I'm doing this video to show you how to earn SafeList credits in a more effective way. Now, if you've been using SafeList credits already, you know that by clicking credit links within each email, you will begin earning credits from clicking those links. Now, once you get enough credits from those links, then you can use these credits to send your own email message to those safe lists that you are already a member of. Now, I've spent countless hours clicking on links in order to get enough credits to use so I can send out my emails. If you've done this, then you know how tedious and boring this can be, and also it can have an effect on your wrist. So I'm hoping this will help those who are having some difficulty with that. This will definitely save your wrist. With Click Earner, you can set it up so that Click Earner will go into the Gmail accounts that you have set up and it will click those links for you. You can still see the advertising as Click Earner clicks on the links, but it saves you so much time. Once Click Earner clicks on the links, you can close them one at a time or all at once, and I will go over that with you later. Now, I'm going to slowly walk you through the setup as well as show you how to use it. The directions are very good in Click Earner, but I want to share some important points with you that I believe will help you as you go through this process. So let's just start with the, the front page of what Click Earner looks like. Um, you'll see these tabs that when we go in, we inside Click Earner, you'll see these tabs and I'll go over them with you when we get in there. Um, right here it tells you it's a six month free trial and you can join for free. Click Earner is an automated web-based tool and there are screen, screenshots, there's a video you can watch. And you can see that on the inside of the, um, in the off, back office. If you sign up now, you, you can start a free trial for seven days. <coughs> Excuse me. You can also uh, pay six dollars a month. You can even make money with Click Earner. Here's a referral program right here that tells you Click Earner pays 20% on every purchase that a person makes who signed up from your link. So if you like to do that, you can. That will help you pay for your Click Earner. Let's go on into Click Earner. We're going to sign in. In just a moment. Okay, once I've logged in, move this back over. Now these are the tabs I was talking about. Welcome, that's pretty self-explanatory. I'm not even going to go into that. Your news and your sign up. Support is where we'll be doing a lot of our work. But right now let's move move on to the other one. Referrals, terms of service and my account which is where we are now and where you'll um, you'll start you, you'll have spend most of your time when you um, need to find something you have contact for support so right now we're on Maine and this just tells me some information about this shows me this is where you'll come once we set up your click earner fetch to open your click earner forward to open and this is the main page you'll, you'll be you'll be going to Click Earner Forward will come to a little while. I'll explain that. Let's go to Payment. And once again, you can do a free trial. You can pay uh, from your balance. You can pay month monthly, uh, just without a subscription. But I recommend using a subscription. You can use Payza, Solid Trust Pay, Bitcoin, PayPal. And even if you uh, can't use any of these payment processors, I would contact support and discuss other payment options and see if they can help you with that if you can't use those. All right, one thing before we want we get started, I want to go over one thing with you. If you're going to use Click Earner Fetch, let's go back to our main site. If you want to use Click Earner Fetch, then I need to have you go to your Gmail account, and I'm going to just pick one of my accounts that I have and show you how you need to set up your safe list because they need to be in folders for it to work properly. Let's just pick free safe list mailer for example. I already have a folder set up for that right there but I can I'm going to walk you through it anyway so let's click on that. Now in order to set it up you, what you would do you, what you would do is click on a label you would write free safe list mailer in there which I've already done myself then you would go down here and click, click create new and then a pop-up window would come up and you would click on create new again and you'd have that label set up and once you've done that 
then go on over to your right where you see the drop down menu, uh, arrow, click on that and then you would click on filter messages like this let me do that and you'll see it, where this gmail address is coming from then you'll click on create filter with, with this search then you'll find your label, mine would be free safe list mailer and apply the label never send it to spam and create filter all right that's all you're once you've done that you're done with that and you've got your gmail account set up now if you have other if you have your contact email address and your list email address you need to go book to both of those if you have safe lists in them you need to set them up now you may have other gmail accounts that you have safe lists in you can set those up too you can have multiple gmail accounts to bring as many safe lists in as you can but you need to set the, the folders up now that's not in the directions in click earner so that's why I wanted to go over that with you alright let's go on up back up here to support we have to we're going to go over setting up your Gmail we set up your folders that's totally different than setting up your Gmail um, for uh, click earner that's just something extra you, we're going to set up Firefox Windows, that's very important. If you have a Macintosh, you'll set that up. We'll set up your sporting, and we've got a multiple tab handler we'll set up. This is your frequently asked questions. Let's click on that. So you can go through here, um, check those out, and see if you, it might help you answer some questions that you may have. All right, let's go back to our support. The screenshots of Click Runner, you might look at and want to go through that. But let's start with setting up our Gmail. Let's do that. That's very quick to do. You're going to need to set that up for all account Gmail accounts that you use. Okay, and, and like I said, there are very good instructions here, and I'm going to go through this slowly. You'll log into your Gmail account, and you'll do this for each one. Click on your, your gear right here. Click on settings. Then you're going to go to the highlighted section. Click on that. And you're going to enable IMAP. And then you're going to, going to save. That's all you're going to do. All right. Now let's go back up here. We've got your Gmail set up for, um, for this account. Now, do you have to do it again? Remember I said for every Gmail account, you've got to set this up. So make sure you go through and do the Gmail the set you got to set up this IMAP in here, enable it. Make sure you do that for every Gmail account you're going to use. Alright. Now let's go to Firefox Windows. These are the setup instructions. You're going to start Firefox and you're going to open the options. So you'll go up to your Fire Firefox tab, come down here to options and click on it. On the tabs tab make sure this checkbox is turned off warn me when opening mo multiple tabs might slow down might slow down firefox it's very important that that's unchecked or you can have a problem now on the content tab make sure this checkbox is turned on right here and then click on exceptions enter www.clickearner.net right here and click allow then you'll go down here and you'll see what it looks like. It should look just like that. Then click close. After that, you're going to go into your address bar and you're going to enter this right here, about colon config, and press enter. And then, see that right there in your search bar, it shows you. Directions are very good. Then click the button that says, I'll be careful, I promise. You'll see that. Type in the search bar, Dom dot pop up underscore maximum type that right in the search bar and then you're going to double click on the value which is 20 in this case and you're going to increase the number to 100 you'll get a pop up and press ok once you've done that you're done now this does not have to be done anywhere but just windows once you've done this one time set it up you're fine you don't have to come back and do it again unless you want to come back and check it which uh, we'll talk about that later. Okay, so we've got Gmail set up. We've got your Firefox Windows set up. If you have Macintosh, you'll do that. 
let's go to your multiple tab handler now. Let's click on that. Okay, the multiple multiple tab handler, you're going to have to click on the link here, just like it says, and then click on the green button right here to install. Click on that, then click allow, and then click the install now button. Once you've done that, you're going to have to restart now. Okay, click restart now. Then it says now just open some tabs, right click on a tab and click close right tabs and they'll be closed. You see that that works. Um, I wouldn't even worry about this yet. We don't even have, if you don't want to do that, I don't think you'll need to do that. They're just trying to show you how it works and I'm going to show you how it works later anyway. So if you just restart now, then that will be fine. Let's, let's just leave it at that. Okay. All right. Okay, we're going to do setup forwarding. And I want to, I'm going to go over that. There are two places you can see forwarding. The setup forwarding, this is where we're going to do, go to do it right here. Well, you can do it here, or you can go back to, let's click back to, go backwards to our, or click on my account. You can go to my account. And down here, uh, we've set up the Gmail account right here under clicker under fetches which is one of the, the tabs you're, you can use it says before using did you set up your gmail account correctly yes we just did that did you set up your firefox correctly yes we did that the windows we did all right now clicker under forward says did you set up email forwarding if not click here did you set up your firefox correctly yes we've already done this so the only thing we have left to do is set up our forwarding we're going to go back up here under this tab. So like I said, you can do it up here, set up forwarding, or you can do it down here. There's two places you can do it. But before we go there, you're, let's go to your click earner forward. Right below the click earner email, you'll see this click earner email addresses. You'll need your contact email address and your list email address underneath this section right here. It'll say your username dot list or your username dot contact you'll know which one to use depending on the email that you're setting up so let's go back up to support let's do setup forwarding we've already set up click, click earn or fetch because all we had to do was set up the gmail on the windows that's set up for forwarding you're going to log into gmail and click on the settings you're going to click on your gear again and you'll have to do this for each one of your gmail accounts that you use then we're going to go down here, click on settings once again. Then go to forwarding and IMAP and pop IMAP. Add a forwarding address. So right here is where, remember where I said to go back to you, where it's in your main section and get that email address. If you, you can go back, we can go back up, come back here again. So just go back to your account. Go to click your inner, earner forward, click on that and go down here right under email addresses pick up your email address that you want to that you're going to use so we'll go back and then we take you may have to come back and forth to do it that's okay so we're going down here we've gone to settings we're going to our forwarding and IMAP we're going to add a forwarding address right there and this is just an example we're going to put it in there you'll put your click under email address in and click next proceed and okay here's an example right here what it might look like something like that now you're going to get a confirmation code, but it's not going to come in your Gmail, um, your co contact or list email. What you're going to do is you're going to go back to Click Earner Forward, and we'll go in there and we'll find it. And this is what you'll see. You'll see this is what it'll look like when we go in there to find it. You'll, you'll see the Gmail account in there, and you'll if you you've set up one email account, then you'll see one email. If you set up two, you'll see two. Now, if you don't see them, give it a couple of minutes. And if you still don't see it, refresh your browser, and you should see it. And what's hap going to happen? It'll come. You'll click on. You'll you'll click on those emails, and then you'll see this open URL. Click on those one or two, whatever it is, and then you've got your confirmation. Then go back to your Gmail and go to forwarding and IMAP and put click that radio button for forwarding. And then you're done. Now I'm going to stop here, and I'm going to do another video so to finish this up make sure you understand everything so I'll see you in the next video